Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of exporting a capture made with the Polycam app from an iPhone to a PC and importing it into Blender. From there, how you can crop and set up your textures to look amazing within Blender's 3D environment. Let's get started. First step, within Polycam and viewing the capture you wish to use, press the export button. From there, choose the type of 3D file you want to work with, in this case, GLTF. Then, upload them to Google Drive. This is a good point to name the capture. Now, on your desktop computer, go to Google Drive from the web browser and download the file. In Blender now, go to File, Import, GLTF. Choose the GLB file and press Import. And voila, you're in Blender. Let's go into edit mode real quick. With the GLB format, it is important to merge overlapping vertices. For this, you can go to Select, Select All by Trait, and Non-Manifold. As you can see, the mesh is made up of different pieces. Let's make it one piece by going to Mesh, Merge, and By Distance. Wow, we removed over 4,000 vertices. That feels good. Now let's crop the mesh. Perhaps you already did that with Polycam, but let's go over it again using Blender. My method of cropping is by going into Sculpt mode and using the Box Trim tool to select geometry that I wish to remove. This method is one of several ways to crop a capture. I find that it is the most straightforward way. The drawback is that each cut takes a few seconds to process, depending on the size of the model. For irregular cuts, use the Lasso Trim tool. If you find that the cut doesn't get all the geometry you lassoed, try moving back a bit or changing the angle of view. This will fix the issue. Okay, now that the mesh is cropped to our liking, Let's look at what options we have in regards to the texture and material settings within Blender. For that, I will go into my shading window. And right off the bat, I can get rid of some of the hard polygonal edges by going to Object, Shade Smooth. By adjusting the strength of the normal map, you may notice that it doesn't enhance the model. If that's the case, feel free to just delete it by pressing X. Next, I will turn the specularity down. Because the color channel has the surface specularity already baked into it, adding more diminishes detail instead of enhancing it. Next I play with the roughness level a bit, which is set to maximum by default. This helps display the capture without potentially distracting reflections caused by things in the environment. Some reflection can be desired though, so I bring it down just a little bit. It's good to double check everything is looking good, by rotating the environment lighting in the drop down menu in the upper right hand corner. Plug the color channel into the emission slot of the principled shader if you wish to see the capture as it is without any effect from roughness, specularity, or the influence of lights in the scene. You can turn the emission strength down if you want to add some light and shadows and still have the support of some of the raw capture detail. This technique can work surprisingly well, but is a trick you may need to experiment with to get the results you're looking for. Next, you can use sculpting tools to fix any loss in surface detail. In this case, I'm using the grab brush tool to manually grab vertices and bring back some of the definition between the nose and the upper lip area. A small tweak can bring back the crease between the lips. Smoothing out rough areas is fun and satisfying with the smooth brush tool. It helps to toggle back and forth between solid shading and texture shading modes because textures may stretch as the result of too much smoothing. I hope you found these tips helpful. There are many ways you can take captures further by creating your own roughness maps or retopology to get your asset game ready. But as there are many different uses and programs out there, they exceed the scope of this video. If there is a topic you wish to see covered, please let us know in the comments. Thank you.